takes a minute. <laughs> And good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. Hello, everybody. Thanks for being here. Good evening, everyone. Uh oh. Who is that? Somebody's Who is that? Oh, shit. That was me. Sorry. Uh, and oh. you said last week you said you got to watch another YouTube video first, turn yeah. the volume off on that, yeah, right, and then this one will show up without volume, right? Well, That's exactly how it works. I, I proved that one wrong. <laughs> you must have done something wrong then. You yeah. open up a window, you mute it, you pop out your chat, you close the, the YouTube, and then there's no chance of anything playing because that window's not even up, just your chat is. But, could be. Anyway, how's everyone tonight? That's and a hush falls over the audience. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's welcome some folks on. First one that came in the chat. Hi, Pauline. <laughs> How are you? Evening. <laughs> Hi, flipping crazy Lisa. Hi, flipping frozen Donna. Hi, flipping frozen Team. Hi, flipping sweating Paul. Not to the oldies either. Hi, Arthur Leslie. How are you? I have to mute your mic for a minute, Lee. I had to mute it for a second. Can you Take hear me? A lot of feedback. Yeah. Just while, to, just while we welcome folks on. <laughs> All right, Paul, go. Hi, Arthur Leslie. We had to quiet Lisa's um, computer because, she, as you can see, she's in the library using one of those public computers. <laughs> Hi, Joy Munkin. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. Paulini. I think. Connie Cheney, what's up? Because she said she, <laughs> because she shed. I think that's Robin. That is Robin. Hello, everybody. Hi, Patricia Shelby. Patricia changed her picture. How very nice. Oh, cool. Very nice. I, oh. have, I think I changed mine once in years. I um I jump the chat. I do this all the time with this stream yard. All right, there we go. <laughs> Hello, Penny Day. Hi, Penny. Hello, Tiffany Reyes. I believe. James S. At seven, do you know where your auctioneers are? <laughs> We're cold in different parts of where are you, Donna? Me, I'm uh, cent Central New York. Oh, all right. So we're all on the East Coast. So everybody's commenting about my background. I, I, I was going to do this one, but I didn't want everybody to think I, I didn't need to do auctions if I did this picture. <laughs> right. Well, if your husband would stop, he, he finally stopped playing the piano over there in the background. <laughs> Facebook user, please hit the link, hit the picture, I believe, and come over. No, I had, I actually posted the link in the in the description. So if you click on the link, you can come on over. Okay. Who are these silly people? Sounds like a Pat, uh, Pat D's thing. Hello, Tiffany, again. How are you? Glad you came back. Pat's Haw. So this is Pat D's other channel. It's Pat's Health and Wellness. Oh, I thought he was missing the he. So he talks a lot about health and wealth on there. And um, the wealth part, he does a lot with the stock market and investment. So if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, um, really good channel. He goes on there, um, you know, to talk about the market every once in a while as well. So... If you hit this, you know, hit the subscribe or hit the bell. It's all good. 
Hey, Nate, every day I'm hustling. Um, Nate and uh, Anthony have a great morning show, 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, they have guests on every week. Um, in fact, they're always looking for guests too. So they like to uh, interview resellers and kind of let um, the, you know, the audience kind of know different platforms. If you're an eBay seller or if you're an Amazon seller, if you do Etsy or Poshmark, they love to do that. Um, Who's Anthony? Be sure, be sure to, uh, to to hit the three dots next to Anth uh, Nate's name and subscribe. They alternate. I believe, uh, Nate, just to confirm that. Do you guys alternate between channels or is it once a week it's on one channel or once a, another week it's on, an, on another channel? I don't remember, honestly. I know today it was on yours. Who's Anthony? Anthony Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. I spoke you know, to him. You know Pittsburgh, right? I spoke to him the other day. I happened to be floating around. It was late, floating around on YouTube. And he was on with four or five other people. And uh, Kelly was on there. And I said, <laughs> what is it with you people going live all the time? <laughs> they uh, do a lot of working hangouts. But I find out if I go on the working hangouts, I get no work done. <laughs> I don't get any work done. I talk too much. <laughs> right. So I just lurk and do my work as I listen. <laughs> it was good. It's a good idea to build up your hours and well, you need to do hours. It's a great, it's a great thing to do is because it just keeps running your video. Um, and you know, that brings me said also, if you guys need hours, I know Lisa needs hours because she's getting really close to her thousand subscribers. Lisa, make sure you put a comment in the chat. Um, make sure you play one of her playlists and just let it run. Just don't mute it. Otherwise, they don't pick up the time. Uh, because even though you get to 1,000 doesn't mean that you can um, still be monetized until you get 4,000 viewing hours. So yeah. that's important, too. Hello, right. John. Hey, John. Hi, John. Yes, I can see you, Pat. Hi, Nance. Hi, all hugs and blessings. Skywatcher Sandra. Skywatcher Sandra, you a um, Star she's, Wars fan by any chance? She's a fellow New Yorker as well. She, I think, is up uh, further. I believe she's like Buffalo. I, I'm not sure. Donna, I think you guys spoke of, mm -hmm. on, on, on. Oh, I've forgotten where. There's somebody up around Lake George. Um, she's closer to the Pittsburgh area, I believe. Oh, okay. Like she's, I think she, I, I, I don't remember if it might have been her and Anthony that were talking about um, how close they are. Maybe Patty's, I don't remember how close they are to the, um, to the, the, the Pennsylvania border. Andrew Howard is in that's not wrenched. Okay, I'll get Andrew a wrench. And Sue, trick it. I need your info, honey. I don't know. I don't have you registered for some reason. Can you please register? Um, send me your information via my email because I wanted to send you an invoice today and I wasn't able to. I'm just doing a copy paste. Hi, Abraham. Hello, Abraham. How's everything down south? More south than I am. Hey, Deb. Okay, you got it too. You have it too, I mean. It's about to get real. And who is that? I, I don't remember their name. I'm sorry. I it's probably Deb. Who? Deb. 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 She's not around Cooperstown. Okay. okay. Heidi Leslie. Hello, Heidi Leslie. Skywatcher Sandra, New Jersey and Pennsylvania border. Ah, okay. Buying space. Hello, buying space. I think that's Jacksonville, Florida. Pretty sure. You said she changed her name. All right, I'm all by myself on that one. <laughs> Alrighty I then. I, think, I really think we need to get Paul. We we need to do some mediation with Paul. I don't know intervention, something. 
I don't know why. I mean, oh. I mean, I, I all right. Jose. Hello, Jose. <laughs> oh, Jose, did I have some wonderful finds the other night? Thank you. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi from New Jersey. Gallifrey Day. Is that right? Fry. Oh, Gallifrey. I'm thinking of Doctor Who Gallifrey. Um, Hi, Norma. Gallifrey Day. That's Norma. Hi, Norma. I did a video of Norma on my channel. Oh, is that she? I published it yesterday. She is did a haul. She, she cooks or something? I think I saw her. What? I didn't see that yet. I saw part of it. Pat's Haw is an hour away from the border. Michelle O. Oh, hi, Michelle. I don't think Andrew got wrenched. No, he didn't yet. Okay. Oh, so this is where she is. Oh, she, she's in Middletown. Oh, Middletown. Shahola. Shahola. Middletown's not that far, right? I don't know. Never been there. Yeah, that's south southeast of me. But is she in Pennsylvania or yeah, New, York. New York? Andrew Howard says I'm a Star Wars collector and like the records. Very cool. Yeah, Middletown's where my husband's whole family is from. We had a snowmobile accident there where he had a pussy cat. Well, I think Middletown is in the Catskills. Is it considered the Catskills road? No. Thanks to all who watched my haul on Lisa's channel. I will get to sure, it. I didn't watch it yet, but I will. Me too. Okay, I think we said hi to everybody. Maybe. Yes. All right, guys. Let's Did head we miss anybody? anybody in the chat we didn't say hi to? Oh, Sandra sending us love. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you can see, we have a special guest on tonight. We have Donna Flippin' Frozen. You guys know her as one of our mods in the chat. She's always dropping our links for us. And she looks like she's multitasking tonight, too. So thank you, Donna. <laughs> so um, we're going to start off with Paul. We'll go to Donna and then Lisa. You want to let Donna introduce herself and talk about herself? Sure, for why not? Go ahead. Tell us oh my God. about a couple of things. Well, I'm Donna, I'm, I'm Flippin' Frozen, and I have a YouTube channel, um, Flippin' Frozen. I usually give the, the weather report, you know, before I go into my uh, video. So it's 13 degrees outside. It's getting cold. Nice. <laughs> and uh, I have a whole bunch of things. I have a lot of Valentine cards um, that I'm going to be presenting tonight. So Vintage? No, well, I don't know what you would call them. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, we'll look forward to them. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Donna. Yep. <laughs> what? What's going on? I was going to see if anybody wanted to hear my <laughs> weather no, report. No, we do not want to hear your weather report. I told you, <clears throat> if you want to come and give that weather report, you got to come on with the girls at like 2 a.m., they're the only ones who would appreciate it. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, the girl, I I happened to, the dog woke me up at one the other night. Last I night. know, I couldn't believe you were in there last night. And or this the, morning. There were two girls that were really, I mean, I don't know, they, they hoped they were related because the way they were talking to each other. You don't have money, you go work on the corner. <laughs> like, what is going on? You were probably, uh, that was probably Robin because she shed and Susan <laughs> Stricker. I think so. I hope you guys are, are related <laughs> or really good friends. They're really good friends. But I just couldn't believe what they were saying. You know what they say when women get together anyway. Absolutely. Um, 
Okay, it's 46 degrees in Jacksonville. Probably the same here. All right, so are we ready for an auction, everybody? We got 40 people in here waiting to spend some money. Hello, Dolls Dolly. I think we got everybody. All right, I'm going to start off. That's why the camera's on me, I think, right? Okay. Yep. Excellent. I'm on it. We're going to start off right now with five hats. Actually, four hats and a beret. Robin start. the bully. What was that? Robin the bully. That's what Susan's saying from oh. what you were saying. <laughs> we're going to start this off at 15 shipped. <clears throat> Everything's in great condition. We have, I got to remember where the camera is. Bulldog. And this is and this is a hook and loop backing from Ozcaps. Like I said, nice, clean. This is a Cubs hat. This is a stretch, a little. It's a seven and three eighths size official baseball. Baseball. This one is Toyota Racing. This is also a hook and loop, and nothing inside, nothing up my sleeve. And then we have this cool Twiggy hat from the 60s. And this could probably use a little cleaning, just throw it in a wash. And then the nice one here is a beret. But there's something special about the beret because it's from the United States Olympic team. So when was the last time you saw one of those? And not only that, the manufacturer is Polo Ralph Lauren. So there it is. A beret, however, beret, you have the beret, the 60s hat, the Toyota Racing, the Cubs, and the Bulldog. Um, what year is on the label of that beret, James S. is asking? James S. is asking for a year on the beret. And the year... On the beret, it's a size medium, <coughs> 2012. Sorry, I missed that. That's okay. That's why I'm here. United States Olympic team. Kind of like to the tassels. Kind of like, you know, we should have this. Oh, did I freeze? So anyone interested in the beret and four hats, beret and four hats, four hats and a beret from the United States team, anyone, 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 because she said is at 15. Thank, thank you. you, Robin. Robin, thank you. This one is pretty cool. It's vented also. I know sometimes everybody likes to know that. It is vented, yes. Beret for the United States. I don't know. Why do I talk French accent? With a, because with, uh, that's what you think of when you see a beret. That's right. <coughs> Very good. Hey, Cajun reseller. All right, Susan, what are you retracting on us? Hey, Frenchie. How are you, hon? Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh, Robin needs to go to the corner. Is she being fresh? <laughs> oh, boy. All right. We have Robin at 15. And we want to go 17 now. 17. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad you're here, honey. Thank you for stopping in. Anyone else? We're going to sell it. 
Going to close in observance of MLK. <laughs> oh. All right, 17 now from Joy. Thank you, Joy. All right, Joy at 17, who wants to go 19? Come on. Where the hell are you? Left is right, right is left. All right, we'll go once to Joy at 17. And going twice now to Joy for 17. Oh, yeah, we don't know if there's a lag, huh? I know. We Did we check for a lag? I didn't. Although. It is about 10 seconds almost. Okay. All right. Last and final call to Joy Munkin for $17. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Joy for seventeen dollars. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Joy. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Donna's going to try to multitask. She's going to do it all tonight. I'm going to try. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Okay. First up, I have this. Cute little plush puppy dog says, Kiss me. He's got a cute little face. He's got little red ears. And this also comes with a package of frozen um, 32 Valentines. Also has uh, 32 glitter tattoos. I don't know what they look like, never seen them, but that's what you're getting here kind of a, a set with the and the starting price is uh, 15 you get both little puppy dogs got a little little red red tail um, he is uh, he's not Disney but he's uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, well, I don't even know. Sound, sound and light from Sound and Light. Not sure where that is. But like I say, you get two. You know, both of these. But Thirty-two cards, and um, oh, you also get forty-eight heart sales. And right now I can't see the chat, so that's okay. I, I've got it. I've got okay. it. Okay. I, I put I put the information in the chat. He's got a cute little face. He wants to be taken home. All right, we have three passes, Donna. Oh, okay. I don't know. I think we lost Lisa, though. Oh. Lisa? Hold 
Paul, are you ready with something else? Well, Donna, why don't you do something else? Um, not ready yet. <laughs> All right, Paul, are you ready for something else? Oh, wait, here's Lisa. Here she is. What happened? What do you think happened? The stupid thing kicked me offline. Now I'm uh, all tiny. You're fine. But I don't use the static anymore. No, it's better now. You look great too. The picture is grainy. It looks um. It's not, not grainy. Not, here. not here. Maybe it's my my internet just like shut off. Like there was no bars. It just it just kicked me out. Like your screen just went totally blank with the circle. And then my internet just it completely shut down. And I had to recon well, manually reconnect. Great right now to us. Yeah, clean your glasses. <laughs> my glasses are clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're up. All right, it's my turn. Yep. Whoops. Uh, I have two bits and pieces jars, twenty-five start for both jars together. Not the glass, but what's in them. Okay, yeah, glass is never included here on jewelry or bits and pieces. <laughs> hey, Mimi resells. And this is heavy holding both up, so <laughs> I'm going to try. Chris the Goose in the house. Hi, honey. Can somebody type it in the chat what it is? I did. Oh, I don't see it. Great. Now my chat's not working. <laughs> okay. So exactly what is bits and pieces? Somebody's asking. So great question. So when we have crafters in the house, they buy these so that they can do their craft. All right. We have Patricia Taylor at 25. And uh, they make things with them. It's you know because they're not complete. Either there's a missing earring for a pair, or there might be a broken clasp on a necklace, or possibly just a broken strand of beads, or just loose beads, loose some um, pieces like that. That's why we call it this bits and pieces. Okay, now it's moving finally. Yeah, jewelry makers and crafters, scrapbookers, junk journal makers, uh, people that make. Um, like ornaments and things like that. There's always little things. And there's some pretty cool things in here. Never apologize for asking questions. I'm so glad you did. I bet you there's somebody who didn't know who was afraid to ask the question. All right, we have $25 now from Patricia. Who wants to go 27? Hard holding both of these then up. You do one at a time. Turn one, hold one, turn it, and then hold the other one and turn it. <laughs> hey, Dennis. So you get both, not choice of, you get both. Oh, Flippin' Frozen has a do lot tonight. We're going to go once to Patricia, 25. What a deal. Okay, so now she wants to know what to do, lad. <laughs> All right, so we have a gentleman in the chat, Dennis Dew. Say hi to Dennis. Dennis, say it's 
say hi. It's about to get real. Um, he buys a lot of uh, video games, gaming systems. Uh, so whenever we have gaming systems, we have nicknamed them a doula. <laughs> Penny Day, he will be on our show Saturday night at 8 p.m. <laughs> Dennis writes, I need a flipping do lot. <laughs> All right, going once for 25 for Patricia. And going twice now. Patricia Kaler for $25. And last and final call to Patricia for $25. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Patricia for $25. Congratulations, Patricia. Thank you, Patricia. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Please, not again. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do an action figure a lot. I have from 2016 Marvel Legends. This is Star-Lord from Ga uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. There's Kitala, which is the Walmart exclusive. He has his uh, masked head here also. Batman, the uh, 66 TV animated TV version. There's the Riddler animated TV version from the 60s. There's the Falcon from the uh, Captain America Civil War. He does have the wings. And then this piece is from, I think, early 90s. Laws, I believe. Suction cup. I don't, because of the age, I don't know how much the suction cup will work, but this is a hanging Batman. And I'd like to start this at 15. Star Lord does have his unmasked head and his weapons also. He's not? Okay. Well, Robin, what the hell's going on here, Robin? All right, fifteen dollars shipped. Can't hear. All I can hear is the keyboard typing in reverb. I think that went away. Anybody interested? You get um, all the figures with their weapons. Oh, the, way, the reason Riddler's wrapped is because he has a, a base that he goes on. And you get the hanging Batman, the 60s version, and the Falcon from Civil War. It's about, there from it's about to get real. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces all, all together. Five figures... And a hanging Batman. Robin, stop this crazy thing. Robin. Are they 12 inches long, most of them? Nope, six inches. I do have a 12 inch. I have another lot that has a 12 inch figure in it. But typically, the 12 inch figures don't have as much articulation as the six inch figures do.
All right, we're going to go once, two. It's about to get real at 15. Thank you, Chris. I'm working on a, I'm building a little display thing for my auction. But between everything else that came up, I just couldn't finish it. Batman looks mad. He always looks mad. Because I'm Batman. Cajun asked a question, P. Cajun, Cajun, are they 12 inches long, most of them? No, none of them. They're all six and seven inches. Um, James, yes, we know. Paul answered the question, honey. I have a 12-inch figure coming up with four other figures, but um, that'll be a couple of lots away. I don't want to spoil the surprise. All right, going twice now. And last and final call to about to get real. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. So it's about get, to get real for $15. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Donna. Okay, I have a do lot. I'm going to start off with uh, let's see, one, two, three, five uh, blanks. Let's see, VH, VHS tapes. Um, I think two of them are Fuji. The other ones are RCAs. Um, let's see, these are these are six hour. And I believe that they're also, these are also six hours. These are blanks, brand new, never been touched. And then I got all of this. What are you going to start this off at, Donna? Oh, um, hold on. 25. All right. I've got uh, games, I got some movies, and I got some kids stuff. And uh, they have all been checked through. So, this Tinkerbell, I don't know if you can see that. Leap Frog. Uh, baby um, Einstein. It's the um, orchestra one. Uh, Star Wars Revenge of the Six says three, so I don't know what that means. That's a movie. Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Black Beauty. Can you guys not see my post in there? This is Xbox Medal of Honor. Uh, GameCube Shrek Super Party. Xbox 360 Assassin's Creed. All right, Dennis comes in now at 25. All right, thank you. Uh, Xbox 360 Assassin's uh, Creed 2. Uh, this one is uh, Assassin's Creed 3 for Xbox 360. Uh, Xbox 360 Halo 3. I think that's a 3. And another Xbox 360 uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. That's it. All right. We have Dennis at 25. Anyone want to do 27? <coughs> <coughs>
27 now from author Leslie. Thank you, author. Thank you, author. 29 now from Dennis. Donna, it's about to get real ass. Did you say they were all tested? I don't I don't have no way no, of testing. Don't I don't have, test anything here. I don't have a an Xbox or a GameCube. Everything, even to the video game systems that we sell, we we don't usually test them. Just so you guys know. His All right, 31 from Cajun Reseller, 33 now from Dennis. His Black Beauty is brand new, unopened, it's sealed. All right, 35 now from Cajun Reseller. Thirty-seven now from Dennis. <laughs> and then there's three of these. These are these are all brand new, sealed, the, you know, the VHSs. All right. We have 45 now from Dennis. All right, Dennis. All right, and Cajun says he's out, so we'll go once to Dennis at 45. And going twice now to Dennis at 45. <laughs> and last and final call... To Dennis do for $45, going once, going twice, and we are sold to Dennis. Congratulations, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. Okay, I have a cut glass perfume bottle. I want to I want to start this at twelve dollars shipped. Okay. The top is frosted. Frosted glass there. Um, and here the stopper. And you can even see the. Um, the cut mark striation lines on the glass. I it probably not going to pick up on camera, but you can actually see it when you look and hold it up to the light the right way. I love your earrings um, tonight, by the way. Oh, thank you. You see those lines a little bit when I show it. Those are the, where they actually cut. So this isn't pressed glass or molded glass.
Did the chat stop or is I nobody? Chat, I think my chat is moved. You know what? I don't mind. It hasn't moved yet. <laughs> Any interest in the perfume bottle cut glass? Twelve dollars to start shipped, guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> now we'll move. Okay, I thought mine just froze again because nobody's saying anything. I can't get back on live chat. Okay, next up. All right. Up, off it comes oh, in. No, it's low. It's low. Oh, okay. Thank you, Arthur. Andrew. <laughs> Did you see Andrew's comment? Yes, I see. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. He's blushing, Andrew. <laughs> See, at least it got her to smile. If we knew that was all it was going to take, Andrew, we could tell him that every minute. <laughs> Does anybody want to go 14? Uh, start calling it T. Okay. Going once to Arthur for Thank you, Patty. Yeah, we have over 50 in the chat. We need some more thumbs up, guys. Yeah, thumbs up, everybody. Come on. Support T. All right, all right. Last and final call to Arthur for twelve dollars. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Arthur for twelve dollars. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna do a lot of uh, DVD. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I had to mute you, Lisa. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just um, saying. Oh my God, you have monkey bone, and that wasn't me that made the noise. So, okay, I'm muting myself now. <laughs> I'm gonna do 17 horror science fiction. Who is that now? I think that was Lisa. Boy, was she blushing though, huh? No, that wasn't me. That's Paul's machine, T. Paul's, Paul's doing it. All right, I'm going to do 17 horror sci-fi fantasy DVDs. We're going to start it at $15. Horror. Oh, somebody was looking for horrid, horror DVDs last night. Well, they're not horrid. They're horror. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I don't like them. <laughs> Horror. And I wouldn't. I don't know if I would consider Jurassic World a horror, though. No, that was one I'd watch. Listen to everything I said. Horror, science fiction, fantasy. Oh, look who's in the chat. At work. Hi, right. Sandy. Seventeen horror, sci-fi, fantasy DVD starting at fifteen. All right. It's about to get real. Starts us off at 15. Thank you. Jeff Bridges in this one. Decent movie. Riz, don't call me now. Uh, Riddick. The Chronicles of Riddick. Oh, I hate these cases. This is Star Trek two disc digital copy special edition. Hello, Jose. Thank you. But I think um, it's about to get real is already at 15. Would you like to go 17, Jose? We have one bid in already at 15. Super Mario Brothers. Hunger Games. 
Oh, another two disker. Disker. Two disc. Abandoned. Lisa's favorite movie. Arthur Leslie now at 17. Thank you, Arthur. Jurassic World. The Frankenstein Theory. With the slip cover. Oh, did I freeze? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, a little a little frozen there. Wow. Thank you, Patricia. For... Deja vu. Deja vu. Oh, another one? Yeah, I don't like those closures. Nineteen now for it's about to get real. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. One of my personal favorite movies is the original 60s Planet of the Apes. Full screen Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Two disc special edition. Land of the Lost. Twilight. Endgame. Ender's Game. The Martian. And I froze again. And there you have All right, it. Jose is at 22. It's about to get real comes in at 24. All 17 DVDs shipped right to your front door, mailbox, wherever you accept your mail. Coming up, I have a family lot. Wow, Patties. Look at that. Whoever wins this lot will get five free DVDs from Patties. My choice, ship for free. Wow. Nice, Pat. Thank you, Pat. All right, 26 now from Arthur, 28 now from It's About to Get Real. Patties putting a bonus on the lot. Yes, Chris the Goose. You can call it. All right. We're going to go once to it's about to get real at 28. Arthur. 30 now from Arthur. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll stop doing that. I'm going to put them right in the box. 32 now from it's about to get real. It's about to get real. Sorry, Dennis. He just beat you out in... About a half a second. Want to go 34? No, nope, Arthur goes 34. Get some. Oh, get real. 36 now from Dennis. Thirty-eight now from it's about to get real. I think everybody's liking the bonus from Pat D's. Nice. All right, Dennis says he's out. We'll go once again to It's About to Get, get Real. Forty now from Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Pat Dees. Thank you. It's about to get real. And everybody else that I missed that is bidding. Thank you very much. 42 now from It's About to Get Real. Wow, Pat, since we hit 40, he's up in the bonus to 10 DVDs. You don't have to do that, Pat. 
Let him do it. Nice. <laughs> hey, Dana. Hey, Cindy. <laughs> hey, Justin. <laughs> Paul, I can't super chat you. This is my super chat to you. Well, thank you very much, Arthur. I $44 really from Arthur. I appreciate it, Pat. It's very nice of you. And thank you, everybody, for bidding. 46 now from It's About to Get Real. <laughs> Dang it. That's a Southern phrase. All right, we're going to go once again to It's About to Get Real at 46. Kim, yes, I knew that, Kim. I did know that, Kim. All right, going twice to Kim now. Don't forget, this includes Cutie Pie's favorite movie. Cutie Pie's favorite movie. Hey, Craig. Land Shark Picker in the house. Hello, Craig. All right. Last and final call to Kim for the DVDs with the bonus DVDs from Pat D72. Guys, make sure you're going in. You're subscribing to everybody. Hit the three dots next to everybody's name. Pick up everybody's channel. Take a look at their videos. Watch their content. We are all about sharing here. It's a great community. Last and final call to Kim. It's about to get real. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Kim. It's about to get real. Congratulations. Hey, Mark, MT Picker in the house. How are you, honey? Thank you, Pat, also, again, thank you. Hey, Janine. No, Dolly, there's no cookies involved. <laughs> yeah, but the cookies, and I just had freaking rice cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Donna, you're up. Okay, I've got uh, Bibles and <clears throat> Bible music. It's uh, for kids. I'm a um, two, three, four year olds because it has the the thick um, board pages. It's like a board book, okay? Yeah. So that's the uh, the music on. Um, it's like the the first verse of all the um, religious songs, and then it's also the uh, my first Bible. Okay. What did you want to start this off at, hon? Um, let's see, 15. All right, 15 shipped on the Bibles. Yeah, and that's also um, the board book, board pages as well. And I think oh, this Lord. one, Thank you. I think this one has, has somebody's name in the, in the front of it. Can't see. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then it's also going to have some valentines from mickey um 32 valentines mickey mouse it's got uh donald duck pluto it's got quite a few of them on the back of it So that's that that also comes with these books as well. All right. Any interest in the Bibles and the Valentine's Day, Mickey, Mickey, Disney, Valentine's Day cards? So you got the children's board Bibles. 
And the Mickey Mouse uh, Valentine's Day cards. Yeah, these be great for, you know, Valentine's and you got Easter. You know, Bibles for, um, I guess, any time. You know, birthdays. This, this Bible, this, uh, the first Bible book is pretty thick. So, June, when you register, you're supposed to provide your PayPal address. We take that PayPal address and we send you over an invoice through PayPal. You should get notified by both your PayPal and your email. And please, guys, like I said before, we appreciate all the questions. If you have the question, that usually means somebody else has the question. So please don't be afraid to ask questions. We, we want you guys to understand how the whole process works. Also, we are showing a lot here. We ask that you guys either make a bid or if you're not interested, type pass because we do want to run through. And, you know, there is, you know, a lot of us here presenting. So we want to get through this stuff. If there is no interest, please type pass. Oh, you're welcome, June. All right, Donna, we have three passes. Okay. Okay, we're going to call this the camo lot. C-A-M-O. Uh, $15 ship start. There's this new without tags. Um, khaki colored pouch thingy. My color really seems washed out for some reason today. No, you, you look great. You're clear. You're very clear tonight. I can't, like, this looks like almost off-white to me here, but it's actually like a, that khaki tan color. Mary, I'm not sure what the what's going on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Coming through finally. It does look like it's khaki. Yeah, to me, everything is just fuzzy. Like the colors are all muted. So I guess it's on my end. Well, someday I'll get a new computer, laptop, one day. Or just don't drink as heavily before you come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Oakwood Outdoors. It's a gun case. This is also uh, new without tags, unused. Mary Pelletier now at 15. Dolly, you want to go 17? And then I have this, um, looks like a mosquito net hat. It's camo. I don't know if you have a link on the gun case. Um, yeah, I'll get to that in one second. Uh, <laughs> let me get my tape measure. 21 now from Dolly. Uh, 12 inches. Twelve inches across. Okay, let me show this hat again. It's a camel hat. It's got like a netting on it, and then it's got a drawstring at the bottom, right here. Yeah, that's from like the desert and things like that. Twenty-three now from Mary. And it's also not been not, not been used, and it says made in Russia. Huh. Okay.
No, you're not. Can you? Oh, I'm just up. Oh, there I go. I was frozen there for a minute. And then this uh, military hat. Dolly now 25. So Arthur could probably tell what this is from. And then it's got the label inside. Twenty-seven now from Mary. And it says uh, Cap Utility Woodland Camouflage Pattern Type Two. Warner gives out the instructions, but that's what this says there. All right, we have 27 now from Mary Pelletier. I don't know if Arthur's still here. He could tell me, is, it, is this Army or not? I don't know. Thirty now from Arthur. That's almost like a yes, it is. <laughs> okay. That's almost like a yes, it is. <laughs> okay, so you get this hat. You get the camo one that's made in Russia with the drawstring at the bottom. No, oh, Sergeant Sparks says no, it's not Army. Hey, Sergeant Sparks, how are you, honey? The gun case. And this, whatever this is for. Do you know? All right, Mary says she's out. We'll go once to Arthur for 30. It's a mobile utility pouch aftermarket. The, the symbol? No, he's talking about the pouch. Um, oh, no, we were, we were talking about the symbol on the hat. I could have sworn this was army because I got it with um, somebody's army stuff. It was the guy now from Dennis. I don't know what happened to, but I had the guy's class uh, graduating photo from the army. The whole class. I just don't know what I did with it. So I don't know. That bag fits on a Molly pack. Okay. It's Marines. Oh, okay. okay. Thank that you for letting me know. Yeah, I didn't think it looked on me. I agree. The symbol. Okay. Well, for all our veterans in the chat, thank you for your service. Absolutely. So this is interesting since it says made in Russia. Yeah. Yeah. That threw me off. All right, we're going to go once then to Dennis at 32. <laughs> Going twice now to Dennis at 32. Anybody for 34? She's going to call it. Last and final call. For the camo lot. Going once. Going twice. 
And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Dennis for $32. Congratulations, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. I'm going to do a watch lot. I have 13 time pieces. Um, these are old. Don't know if they work. They're all metal band. I will show them each to you. And one I have that I had the jeweler check out today. Very nice. So I would like to start this at $50, and you'll see why. Here's one. It's 13 watches, you said, right? 13. Okay. Just wanted to confirm before I post. No problem. Let me back this out so it hopefully it'll just focus on the watch. Come on. Damn it. There's two quartz. I can't read the name on that one. There's two more. Hill Brothers. I can't see this one. Bulova. That's an old one. This one's a bracelet. That's a Kelton. That one is a Geneva. Very quiet out there. There's a hush over the audience. We're all watching intensely as we look at the watches. Did you want to see the last watch? And we, we've seen the brands. ESQ. Manhattan. crowd probably wants to be quiet as not to disturb Jose. <laughs> so they get a shot. <laughs> Just and so they get a shot. Can't read that one. Shin Carvelli, is it? Carvelli? That's what it looks like. Pretty old. Advance Geneva, and then the other day I went to a storage unit auction of a basketball player that used to play for the um, Orlando Magic, and he had some really cool stuff. And this is one of the pieces. This is Michael Kors. This is working fine. I had the jeweler check it out. Everything's great. He replaced the battery for me. There's no issues with it. It even still had the plastic on the back until he took it off so he could get this off to change the battery. Check this out. If you want to check the comps, I believe this is averaging close to the $100 range, depending who you see it and where. Nice condition, too. Yeah, very nice. Everything he had was very nice. I have a couple of more, too, but they the comps are showing way in the hundreds. But I thought I would let this one go. So is anybody interested? All right. Do we have any interest in the watch lot? 13 watches includes the one Michael Kors. 
that's been gone through um tested and working battery's been replaced as you can see it's working fine <clears throat> my suggestion is not to ship it with the battery though oh really well don't they say when you go to the post office all right tiffany's cool finds goes 50. don't they say when you ship through the post office that you're not supposed to ship batteries yeah, but that's regular, that's regular batteries, including the. Um, oh, okay. Which ones that explode? Yeah, batteries go ground. That's what I thought, Susan. Right. Uh oh, Sandy's getting mad at me because I'm selling this one. Uh oh. I thought she was saying no because Jose can't couldn't be here. He left. He had to go take his son. Oh wow. Yeah, watch Kim's batteries saying, are pretty small. Okay, Kim's saying, yeah, watch batteries, you can. Okay. I don't ship anything with batteries just because I don't want to have a problem. <laughs> oh, lithium. Okay, thank you, Sylvia. All right, one thrifty hoard would like to see the other ones as well again. Bracelet. Geneva, Kelton. You can see that the um, this has been well worn. You have to, uh, Sheila. You have to make the item take up most of the screen, so the camera can only focus on those. There's the Bulova. There's the Hale Brothers. Hell Brothers. Bulova. Didn't that used to be a good name? Abraham, what time is it? <laughs> yeah, I, th I, don't, I don't know. I would think it still is. This, these are all metal bands. All of them. Advance, Geneva. I went to turn one around. I ended up turning them both upside down. <laughs> the, the camera's weird. It's like right is left, left is right. I know. That's a another Geneva. My mother used to have a watch just like this. Caravelli. Can't read the one harbor something harbor sag harbor and S S E S Q. All right, we have Tiffany's cool finds at fifty. Anyone want to go fifty five? Manhattan and the other ones are quartz. Tiffany Cool Fine says my husband Jose will look so hot with the MK watch. It's not the Jose, is it, Tiffany? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? He would. I mean everybody would. This is heavy too. This is a heavy piece. I mean, I I'm a big guy. There it is. Makes a statement on my wrist, that's for sure. You could do, like I said, you could do your comps on it, everybody. At $50 right here, this is not even close to what this is worth. Oh, okay, Susan. Gee, you know more than me. <laughs> Sorry. 
So there you go. A lot of watches. All right. We're going to go once then to Tiffany. And she steals this deal up. She is. I will hear about it when Sandy gets home. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, she's not there with you. No, she's working. Oh, yeah. Jose will be upset he missed this lot. <laughs> but Sheila's right. It is time, no pun intended, for someone else to win. Going twice now to Tiffany. And Tiffany's been so excited about our auctions for the last few weeks. Every time we have an auction, she's like, I can't wait. She's been the first one in the chat several times. Oh, excellent. So I'm glad. Last and final call to Tiffany's Cool Finds. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Tiffany for $50. Great deal, Tiffany. Hope Jose enjoys it on his arm. Thank you, Tiffany. All right, done is up. Okay, I have a vintage um, Avon Hostess um, Blossom Flower Arranger soap dish. <laughs> so, That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful, yes. So um, I believe it's um, you get some Avon soap. green <laughs> it's the color of my shirt <laughs> and here's the soap dish and you get the uh, flower on it and it also has a separate uh, so like that is, you know, you can even probably use it as a candy dish or so. And then uh, you got this plastic thing to put the soap on. So the soap, so the soap water drains in. So it kind of sits up like that. So I think this is like, um, oh, they call it something, milk. Um, milk glass. Yeah, milk glass. So it's a. Uh, has the uh, the flower on it. I'm starting this at 25. And it's uh, vintage. It uh, doesn't have a date to it. But it's um, Avon. And it's uh, made in the USA. Never been used. Joy, no, I think Paul said he has your info. If not, we, I haven't. No worries. All right, any interest in the Avon, guys? It'll look quite pretty in your bathrooms. We have three passes, Donna. Three, okay. All right, Lisa, you're up. Okay, let me put my chat back up again. 
Okay, so I have the $30 start. It's a dragon marionette. And I just got him tangled, putting him in the box. I'll fix it later. Oh, come on. Okay, it's a uh, dragon marionette and vintage dragon dominoes from the 50s. Hey, Steve. So, just be fair. so I want to start this at 30 shipped. Here's the dragon. I think Cindy typed pass for hers, didn't she? Yeah. Okay. He's, oh, no. Teddy says, oh, no, it's bad. <laughs> so it's this guy, Chinese dragon. Move his head. Open his mouth. Got a bell in his tail. And the uh, dragon dominoes, all, all 55 pieces are in here. This is a vintage set. Um, this wow. one particularly. Out at 30. And they're really nice. Do you know if, um, because you're probably a little more of an expert than I am with dominoes. Um, I, I know I had read somewhere that there's like summer bake light. Um, I think like the Mahjong ones, they have some bake light ones. A lot of these are uh, ebony ones, the older ones. They show. Arthur says he loves dragons. Dennis is saying thank you, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're, they're in beautiful condition. Hey, Cindy says yes, her cast was pretty. Um, so those those are, okay, yeah, because I have a set that I found in a storage unit, but uh, unfortunately there's three tiles missing. So I was thinking about parting them out, like maybe they were missing, but they're the white ones. And somebody said, oh, sometimes they're big light, but I didn't know if they were or they were. We'll talk about it later. Okay. I'll help you out how to figure that out. So you get those, they're from the 50s. Really nice set, nice graphics on the box. And the dragon. All right, we have author at 30. Anybody want to go 32? calling it tea. All right, we'll go one now to Arthur at third one. Hey D, Swiss from Paradise. Kim, I'm not sure if you're lagging. But once we have a bid in, we don't type pass. We type out if you are one of the bidders and you're done bidding. So I'm not sure if it's you're still lagging or not. We have a bid and we're going to go twice now to author at 30. I'm lagging. Okay. Sometimes you're better off if you just go out and come back in. 
All right, last and final call to offer for thirty dollars for the dragon and the dragon dominoes. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Arthur for thirty dollars. Congratulations, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Oh no, here we go again. Oh, oh look at poor Superman. <laughs> Oh, he just can't get away from doing that. All right, I'm going to do an action figure lot. This was lot two action figures. 12-inch talking Iron Man. A Playmation Iron Man Hulkbuster. Lex Luthor. Superman from the animated series. A Batman armored and a Nightmare Batman from the uh, movie versus Superman. I'm going to start these at $20. So someone was asking if this is a 12-inch. The Iron Man is a 12-inch. So you can see the difference between a 6-inch figure and the 12-inch Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Iron Man armor, combat ready. Sheila, I'm not presenting tonight, honey. I may be on with Donna tomorrow, or I'll be back on with these guys Thursday. So there's the 12-inch Iron Man. I told you how much we're starting at? No. Starting at 20. All right. So there's the 12-inch Iron Man. Hey, Dawn. Dawn's in the house, and Dawn starts you off at 20. Thank you, Dawn. Then Superman, this has a uh, like an L-shaped base with it. So that's why it's wrapped like this. And Sandy's yelling at you. Oh, she gave me a ration already. Oh, no. Um, this is Lex Luthor from the movie. She knows I love her, though. <laughs> She's just telling you you're too close. This is the Playmation Iron Man. These move or something when you play the game. Um, the, there's the little tag. It goes on the board. and So it's not really an action figure, but it's a little poseable. And then they have both Batman, Nightmare Batman, and Armored Batman from Batman vs. Superman. And as you can see, it has the guns with it. Um, and that's it. So you get the two Batman, the Lex Luthor, the animated Superman, the Hulkbuster Iron Man, and... I am Iron Man. A 12-inch Iron Man. All right. We have 20 from Don Bargain Hunter. Who wants to go 22? <laughs> they kind of look a little uncomfortable being that close together. That's right. Not bad. Boys and their toys. <laughs> All right, we'll go once to John at 20. Did he just say he was crispy? <laughs> 22 to with this Kim. <laughs> I can't even say it anymore, Kim. You me laughing. That's right. <laughs> 25 now from dawn. Stand down. Keep the skies clear. Yeah, I can fly. Having fun. I am Iron Man. Boys and their toys. <laughs> I'll keep saying it. Iron Man armor. Combat ready. <laughs> There's his guns. Repulsor power! 
All right, we'll go once now to Donna 25. Okay, Francesca. Going twice now to Don at 25. Sorry. Last and final call. Don Bargain Hunter for $25. Going one, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Don Bargain Hunter for twenty dollars. Congratulations, Don. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Don. <coughs> Kim wants to know if you do that in the store and push all the buttons. <laughs> of course, I do. <laughs> He's a boy. They're all boys. <laughs> all right. What do we have, Donna? I have coloring books. All right. Coloring books. What do we start? And, uh, $12. $12. $12. Right. $12. All right. Four, four coloring books. Great for uh, Valentine's and... St. Patty's Day, Easter. And I believe this one is a uh, activity book. So that's actually three coloring books and an activity book. And on the back, it has directions on how to make Valentine cookies for Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> it's an activity book and it has you know puzzles and um mazes um different things to make and color and lots of fun for for little kids and i also have not one not two not three but uh actually three is uh frozen And I have the princess getting everything, coloring books included. And you got Mickey trying to move these things out. So we got coloring books, popular rhymes. All right, Dennis Dew goes 12. Mother Goose. Got the Jolly Coloring Book. That'll scare any kid. That'll scare me. <laughs> uh, I got Story Time. I think he's uh, supposed to be Old King Cole or something. I mean, like, you know, it's kind of what's in the book. one here. This one has uh, color by numbers. It has a guide as to what color to use to follow the numbers. And then this, this one here is, you know, one of those draw things. <laughs> Joy says, where are the cookies? <laughs> oh, nice okay. Nice <laughs> <Smoke> up. <laughs> yes, Francesca, remember that? In school, we used to give each other all the kids from Valentine's Day cards. <laughs> to make cookie Valentine's, you need... They're probably not even allowed to do that in school anymore. Probably not. Well, make cookies, I guess, or crackers or something. Valentine's to eat. It's like I said, this has a bunch of uh, different... has a big pullout. I guess you're supposed to be able to find stuff on there, find different things. There's Valentine's to cut out. Oh, okay, Kim. All right. Good Something to else to color. Stickers. The 
uh, the Wild Valentine Garden Maze game, the whole game here. Keep the grandkids entertained. More Valentine stuff. My funny Valentines. <laughs> All right, we're going to go once to Dennis at 12. We got uh, Princesses. This one you get, uh, what do you get? You get the scratch, scratch the silver, scratch silver off sticker to reveal the secret sender. Let me show that. And I think that's along with the cards. So you get a couple cards there. I think you get the 32 cards in this one. And then you also get uh, this one here. It comes with uh, 32 Valentine's glitter tattoos and 48 heart seals. All right, we're going to go twice now to Dennis at 15, at uh, 12. And you got Mickey. All right, last and final call to Dennis at $12, going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Dennis for $12. Congratulations, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. Hello, my beautiful. You too, Lisa. <laughs> Hi, Pie. Okay, um, I have a Hulk and the Flash, and I want to do these for 20 ship for the both of them. Their tags are, they're from Six Flags, exclusive Six Flags um, editions, and they're really cute. I'm sorry, Lisa, what were you starting this off at? 20 start for the oh, okay. two of them. There are six flags exclusives a year. I don't know. Let me see. Manufactured exclusively for six flags. Grand Prairie, Texas. DC Comics. Related characters, the flash, and it has a batch number, but there's no year on these. But they're a nice size. Oh, Kim says that's her six flags. I guess there's a and they're, they're in really great shape. Really nice. And I'm not going to make them do weird things like Paul does. <laughs> you, know, you didn't bring them wrapped in cellophane. Are you crazy? No. I'm not going to put them in funny positions either. <laughs> <laughs> or put them too close together. <laughs> All right, Paul. All right, Mr. Antonelli. <laughs> They're big guys. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. All right, twenty dollars ships. Get, dolls? It's both of them. Any interest in the dolls? Twenty dollars ship to start.
Superhero collectors? Somebody got grandkids? Be really cute gifts. <laughs> no, it's not a Power Ranger. This is fl the Flash. These are both oh, um, comic yeah. characters. This is the Flash and this is the Hulk. All right, we have three passes. Wow. Okay. All right. Moving on. No love for this. No, no love for the heroes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a DVD lot. Family, superhero, and fantasy DVDs. Seventeen, and I'm gonna start it at fifteen. We have, I know, and I'm too close to the camera. Um, Tom Hanks, big, very funny movie. Cat in the Hat, I know I'm too close. Firehouse Dog, the instructions fell out. The 17 start at 15. Miracle on 34th Street. Sorry. The case on this one is a little busted. So the middle piece, the middle disc came out. But it's still in there. Special edition, Nightmare Before Christmas. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Once again, two disc, special edition. Superman Returns, two disc, special edition. Spider-Man Homecoming. Jose right. now at 15. It's about to get real. Kim at 17. Thank you, everybody. Iron Man 3. Little Rascals. Spider-Man. Special Edition. Two discs. Iron Man. Oh. Iron Man 2. So there's Iron Man, Iron Man 2, and Iron Man 3 in this collection. Christmas with the Simpsons. Tooth Fairy. Dunstan checks in. Beethoven, Beethoven second, and Beethoven third. Um, I don't know if that's the one. I'm actually in a Beethoven movie. Must be the fourth or the fifth. They filmed it here in Universal Studios, and I was in the background. I got hired as background. It's probably one of the only nice benefits of living here. Seventeen DVDs all together. All right, we have. Um... Kim, it's about to get real at 17. Anybody want to go 19? If not, we're going to go once to Kim at 17. Arthur's at 20. Arthur now at, Arthur now at 20. Thank you, Arthur. It's about to get real. Really? Um... Really? Was I in the movie? Yes. You can't see me. I mean, 
my truck got more film time than I did. It's about real 22. I still get emails for when they film all over Florida. For, they look for background. When they did Walking Dead, when they did the Godzilla movie, some of the Godzilla movie was filmed um, in Georgia. All right, 22 now from Kim. It's about to get real. They must look for background up there, um, T, when they're filming um, Blue Bloods. I guess. That'd be cool to be on. Sandy and I like that show. We watch it all the time. Arthur Leslie's at 24. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. About to get real. Jill at Finders Cellar. Did they pay you? Oh, yes. Did to be in the did, movie? Yes. Did, did, did who? Oh, did they pay you? Oh, okay. Hey, Jill, when you get a chance, honey, would you... Um, oh, yes, you did send me your information. I apologize. All right, I just want to wrench you, hon. Let me get her a wrench. Jill, they pay to be as background in the movies. Um, it, it averages 100 to $150 a day. Then they used my truck in that one, and my truck got $100 a day, too. They put a fake paper plate on the back. Buying space, let's see, about to get real went to 26. Buying space went to 28. Thank you. Got to be in a movie.com. They find extras all over the country. Yes. They do a lot of filming here in Florida. Like Burn Notice. Burn Notice was looking for people forever. But that was Buying not. space now at 28. Kim, it's about to get real at 30. Arthur Leslie is out. Sorry, Arthur. All right, we're going to go once to Kim at 30. I live in Tampa, and yes, a hairstylist. Cool. Well, thanks for coming in. I don't think I ever saw your your um, your name in, in the chat before. I'm in TED and Clear History with them. I'm in TED and Clear History with them. TED with... Um, the, the 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 teddy bear Ted. That's cool. Very cool. It's about real. Is it 30? Anybody else interested in the 17 family superhero fantasy DVDs? We're going to call it. We're already on calling it. Going twice. twice now to Kim at It's About to Get Real. All right. I'll stop doing that. All right. Last and final call to Kim. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Kim at $30. Congratulations, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Uh, Joy, don't thousands of people try. Um, when they did, when they filmed the Avengers, that was in Georgia also. Yeah, there was a ton of people that tried. Donna, did you lose your heat? <laughs> No. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. I just figured I'd, you know, dress the, the part for being outdoors, you know? Ah. Oh. And frozen. It's supposed to be cold. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. She's trying to warm up Chris the Goose. Okay. I've got uh, a, a, a beer game called pint of games you get out you get the glass playing cards a ping pong ball directions dice 
um, everything but the beer. So you're going to have to come up with your own beer. So I figure, you know, with St. Patty's Day coming up. All right. And how much do you want to start this at? I want to start this at um, 25. I'll give it a up here. You got playing cards, unopened playing cards. It's about to get real, says she'll beat anyone at that game. Anyone what? She'll beat anyone at that game. Oh, <laughs> Oh, you get two ping pong balls. And you get the dice. You get two dice. And you get the, the glass. All right, we got the Pint of Games Beer Pong Game. Don hates beer. Fancy schmancy beer pong game. <laughs> Don, I'm right with you. I hate beer too. Yeah, I don't drink beer. Anyone for uh, St. Patty States coming up? Let me be. Did she say she doesn't drink beer? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Someone doesn't believe you because you have that game, Donna. Oh, yeah, right. No, this is <laughs> brand new. It's never been used. <laughs> All right, any interest in the beer pong pint game? <laughs> what? No beer? Somebody wants beer and No, included. sorry. I could. No, not sending that. <laughs> All it's right, guys. Thank you. That's a pass, Donna. Okay. I'm trying to, there we go. Nope, there we go. Well, she can be flipping frozen. I can be flipping crazy, right? Yep, absolutely. So, so two can, play that, two can play that game. <laughs> All right, I have a Mercury Glass Coca-Cola uh, Santa figurine. He's holding a glass of Coke. It's a tabletop size. I want to start this at 20 ship. It's 21 years old. And you can't really see him holding the Coke because this stupid design of the star is in the way. But he's holding a glass of Coke. Twenty, you said, right, honey? Yeah, twenty. Okay. There, you can see it there. There you go. That's a good. That's a good shot. That was a good yeah. shot right there. And this isn't ceramic or plastic or anything. This is actual mercury glass. 
What's the year on it? It's 1999. Okay. 21 years old already. And guess who? Oh, that comes in at 20. Mr. Coca-Cola himself. <laughs> Arthur, someday you're going to let us come to your Coca-Cola collection. He's a big one. He is. Anybody else? All right, we have author at 20. Anyone want to go 22? Hey, Connie, Jennifer Claus is in the house. All right, let's go once to author at 20. Going twice now to author at 20. And last and final call to Arthur Leslie for $20, going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Arthur for $21. Congratulations, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Mike is muted. I'm going to do three and three quarter pounds of assorted Legos. We're going to start it at $25. Not quite four pounds. Three and three quarter pounds. Two big bags full of Legos. I know somebody's going to ask, so let me just ask right off the bat, are there any people in here? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, okay, so this is kind of like a mystery jewelry jar. You just threw them all in there and you don't know. Yeah, like in this one, like you could see a head right there. Um, that might be a person. Yeah, I think there's his hand. So, yeah, there's people. There's people. and There's, there's another, people. There's another and Bolo Buddy's in the house. Hey, Courtney, how are you, sweetheart? Thank you for coming. Guys, hey, don't Courtney. forget to to subscribe to everybody, pick up Bolo Buddies, Courtney. She's got some great content. So there's two peoples right there. Two peoples in the bag. $25 ship for the two big bags of Legos, guys. Almost four pounds, three and three quarter pounds. It's about to get reels at 25. There's all kinds of parts and pieces. And actually in this one, there is almost a complete vehicle or the basis of a vehicle with a hitch. So I know the wheels and stuff are really sought after. The flats is another part of a set. I know the flaps people really go nuts for too. So three and three quarters pounds of leg O's. Who else is interested? We have, it's about, uh, stop. People. Parts. More people, more parts. There's all kinds of parts, all kinds of different parts. Itchy nose. 
Yeah, stepping on them in the dark. Yep. I remember that when my son was growing up. Anybody else? It's about to get real. All right, we're going to go once to Kim at 25. Sorry. Just let me. <laughs> Kim says, just let me send my entire check to Paul now. <laughs> What else are you interested in, Kim? I got Beats by Dr. Dre. I got more DVDs. I have an HP photo printer. Oh, another, another guy. Another little people's. There's a door. I see a door. Oh boy. Any gaming systems? Ah. Going twice now. T, when is, I know you're going to get mad at me for asking this question. When am I on with you at solo? Wednesday, Paul. All right. I will have one Wednesday. I promise. <laughs> I'll have a game system or two. I'll have some games. Um, I'll have some games. I'll have a game system. I'll have a leather jacket, a leather coat, I mean. I'll have stuff. More DVDs. I'll have a Coke tray. I didn't know anybody was interested in Coke. So I'll have a Coke tray. Right now I have Legos. I actually have 100 pounds more of Legos if anybody's interested. All right. Last and final call for the Legos to Kim. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Kim. It's about to get real. For 25. Thank you, Kim. All right, Donna, you're up. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> well, I left my uh, trapper hat on so you all can see how it's um, how it's worn. There's usually a clip because I know Donna um, has usually sells the trapper hats, so you can see how it's worn and everything. And it's very warm. It has these these flaps that come down that keeps your your neck and your cheeks warm and it clips. I have the one that has the, the clips on the bottom. So it's, it's quite warm. So you can go outside and be in, in the wind and it's, um, you know, it keeps you warm. <laughs> also messes your hair up. <laughs> so that's, that's the little tidbit about shoveling and having to wear those things. Okay, next I have a plush tie, a tie plush bear. He's red. He's, he's a good, I don't know, 12 inches. He's quite big. Let's see. 15. He's 15 inches long. So I got him. And yet again, I have the Mickey Mouse. Valentine's, the, oops, what happened here? The Disney princesses. And there's like 32 cards with uh, the all print, the Disney princess, um, all of them. And then this is the Frozen gals. So this is a whole lot. Trying to move these down and um, starting this off at, uh, I'd say, 12. All right.
and his name is let's see Oz, Otto Acido oh S I T O I don't know, I can't read it <laughs> it's too small <laughs> take me home I want a new home. Any takers? It's cute. You got the Disney cards, the Valentine cards. I picked these things up years ago. Just trying to get, you know, the stock down. And Mickey, Mickey Mouse Club. All right, we have three passes, Donna. Okay. Lisa, are you home? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, I have a uh, small plush lot. We started at, um, uh, we'll do 15 shipped. We'll start it. Okay. So we got this little guy, little turtle, really cute. <laughs> I love his face. So we got him. He's got like posable legs, little uh, wire, wire armature or something in him. Uh, this guy from Popeye. Bye. Yes, we have M for sure. M I M. And then um, this Dis Disney um, Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, stop, phone. <laughs> Still has the tag. It's called a. <laughs> it's called the fluffy balls. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, Tiffany I wants to know what year the Popeye dude is. It's wimpy. Um, wimpy. Wimpy. Yes, wimpy. Thank you, Paul. 2017. This is a new style of plush. He's in great shape. Uh, then we have the, the Teletubby. I love how they tell you you need to sleep. Nobody cares about me. And this is made by Eden Toys. It's dated 1998. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. And then we have a Pikachu. <laughs> no, Tolly, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. That's it. Only fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars shipped, guys, for the plush.
Any interest in the plush, guys? What year is that yellow thing? Do you mean the Pokemon, the Pikachu? It's a Pikachu from Pokemon, correct. Hey, Harley Kitten. Two thousand seventeen, the Pokemon Company. Oh, Macari, yeah. I haven't put okay. anything in Macari yet. All right, cool. You're up. Um, and I, I think we're, I think we're gonna go one more round here, guys. Sorry, I keep muting my mic. What this happened? My, go ahead. This is my last DVD lot of the evening. This is all around movies. There's 17 of them starting at $15. American Crude. A Life Less Ordinary. She's having a baby. Super bad. I'm paying your electricity bill this month. <laughs> um, Will Farrell, Volume Two, Saturday night. You'd be surprised what my electric bill is here. Boat trip. Beer fest. Oh, I just heard Sandy's door close. Um, Will Ferrell Semi Pro. What do you that. mean? She's home? I think that was her just pulling. Yep. Well, we're going to let you go. We're going to let you go after another lot anyway. So <laughs> we'll let you deal with your domestic issues. <laughs> uh, Miss Congeniality 2. Hi, San. How was work? It was fine. Billy Madison. Hi, Sandy. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Tired. <laughs> Joy Munkin says, T, Fox News just showed the largest candy bar in the world. It was a 4,700-pound Snickers bar. For real. No joke. Oh. <laughs> uh, what do they do with something like that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Fever pitch. Oh, instructions fell out. Adventureland, unrated version. Shawshank Redemption. $15 now from Jose. Maid of Honor. Paul, I'm not going to tell him. No. All right. That's fine. I got, like I said, I have, well, I don't know if I'm going to list the big money one. Identity. Well, maybe Monday night. Uh, it's Wednesday night. <laughs> 17 all together. So it's about to get real. Said she's going to pay my electric bill. My electric bill is super low here. Super low. Yeah, not like one of mine over the summer that was like $600. Ooh. Our last one was $62. I highly recommend, if anybody needs a new water heater, I highly, highly, highly recommend a um, tankless. 
be put in a tank list. Even though everybody said, don't do it because it's only you and her. Um, we did it. And we, it probably paid us back five, six times already. Jose's at All right, we're going to go once to Jose at 15. No other interest in these DVDs? Not even, uh, that's not even a dollar a DVD. Thank you, Sam. Aw, see, she loves you. Wait until he shuts down and then he's going to get it. <laughs> oh, no. And I just said to him, I'm so sorry, but we're going to do one more round. <laughs> <laughs> No, now you're going to make me feel no, guilty. That's fine. <laughs> All right, going twice now to Jose at 15. Last and final call for $15 for the lot of DVDs to Jose, going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold. Congratulations, Jose. Thank you, Jose. All right, Donna, what do we have? Okay, I have a mystery box. A mystery box. Mystery box. It's a uh, it's in a medium flat rate box, and I'm starting this off at twenty five, and it's got a lot of goodies. I will say it has um, ornaments in it, Hallmark ornaments. Uh, might be a couple of uh, remotes. I'm only going to tell you just a few, not everything. Um, what else did I put in here? Might be a couple of sunglasses. And there's other other items in here. So and other goodies. All right. $25 for the mystery box, guys. I still have room in the top that I can put more stuff in, like, you know, possibly cookies or candy or. All right. Leanne is in at 25. Thank you. Seven PM Patty's Patty's is on with us Thursdays. We're on at 7 PM. Dolly wants to know, is that an extra hint? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it could be. Yes, Kim, Eastern. Yes, we're on the, I'm on the East Coast. I'm on Long Island. So, yes, East, Eastern time. All right, we're going to go once to Leanne at 25. And we're going to go twice now to Leanne at 25. And last and final call to Leanne for the mystery box for 25. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Leanne at 25. Congratulations, Leanne. Thank you, Leanne. Le 
All right, Lisa, you're up. Okay, uh, I have a lot of extra large unused biker patches. Let me see how many I have here. Fuzz on them, but they were never used, never put on anything. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of them. I'll just show them to you. Uh, yeah, we'll start these at uh, 20 shipped. All right. And uh, they're all embroidered. That's beautiful. They're very big. <laughs> yeah. These are these are um, back patches. They're they're say it again. Back patches. It's the only back place they're gonna fit. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. That's all embroidered. Yeah. Nice. I know Don Bargain Hunter likes these sometimes. Well, Dennis likes them. He's going to give you 20. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're, every one of them is embroidered. It's another biggie. These are nice. Twenty-five now from Valerie Galmish. Hi, Valerie. Yeah, Donna said they're beautiful. They are. This biggie. Let me give you a measurement on that. Okay, this, this one is almost 14 inches across. It's bigger than a foot. Twenty-seven from Dolly. And the flags, the flags are about eleven inches across. So they're they're pretty sizable patches. Tiffany now at 30. Dolly now at 32. This is this is my favorite. The wolf, yeah. Thirty five now from Tiffany. How many are there in Holy Lisa?
There's eight. Eight patches. Eight huge. I mean, you said patches. I was thinking, you know, round little circles. Yeah, no, these are huge patches, and they go for a good bit of money. If you ever I'm go to biker swap meets, you wouldn't believe what they asked for these patches. I believe it. That's just, they're beautifully done. That's my favorite. Yeah, this one's nice, too. Thirty-seven Nelson and Mary Pelletier. Yeah, Dolly says that's about a fifty dollar piece. I believe it. Yeah. They go they go for a lot of money. Well, you imagine how much thread and time their machines use to make them. Like this is the smallest one and it's by no means small. Right. See? Yeah. The size of my head. So that gives you an idea. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have Mary Pellets here at 37. And they're very detailed. Yeah, I was just going to say the detail and the color on them. $40 now from Dennis. Yeah, you could sell one of these big ones and make everything back. Oh, for sure. 42 now Look, from Mary. The this smaller one here, well, I call it smaller, but this this one that's the size of my head, the regular price was 30 on it. Right. And that's just for what this one's half the size of the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, Arthur said years ago we priced the equipment and considered starting another company for such things. Wish I had now. Yeah, those would sell fast at Sturgis. Oh, for sure. Uh, it's the only thing I miss with my husband not having his Harley anymore. But I miss riding so bad. And oh, wait, let me get it. It was, not a bad, it was not a good experience, so we had to part with it. <laughs> All right, we have Mary Pellets here at 42. Yeah, well, I did, and my husband did. Yeah, let's bring a soft tail. Oh, well. There I am. Nice. That's that purple leather jacket I told you about. It had to match my, uh, it had to match the bike exactly. You see the purple? Yep. On the bike. Was it in the jacket. Did you, did you have a custom paint? Um, the bike was painted first, then I found a jacket to match. It was a metallic purple, and I couldn't believe it. I found one on eBay. I was floored. Wow. So that was me. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we, we can't ride anymore. My husband had his first heart attack on it, so we won't even go oh, there. That's not good. All right, let me go. Let me go over these one more time, guys. Yeah. Sorry and for we're that. Gonna go once, um, meanwhile, to Mary Pelletier for 42. Yeah, this one goes for a good chunk of change because all the detail in it. See, if I still had that purple jacket and it's got the purple writing, it would have gone perfect yeah, on the back of it. Yeah.
Yeah, definitely love that one. Definitely love that one. So what is that now? 42. So that's a little over $5 a patch. That's insane. <laughs> wow. Mary Pelletier going twice. Oh boy, we're going to give these away. Anybody want to jump in and get in on these great deal for the size of these patches? Let me hold them all up again before the call. It's so insane. All right. Uh. All someone would have to do is go sourcing for some inexpensive denim jackets and put those patches on, right? Author goes to 44. Mary comes back at 46. Yeah, true, Paul. Well, you could source those um, black leather vests, too, and just slap one of these on, and you're you're going to get tons of money for them. Yeah. Okay, 46 right, is st go still under 8. 46 now to Mary. Going to go 48, Arthur? If we get to 50, I'll throw another patch in. Off it goes to 48. Mary, she's going to give you another patch at 50. Patch of my choice, whatever, whatever I can find in there. There she goes, $50. Anyone want to do 55? Now there's nine in here instead of eight at this point. You're going to get nine. All right, we have Mary at 50. Tiffany, you want to do 55? Anybody want to go 55? There's nine pieces now, not 10. I mean, not eight. <laughs> oh. Duh. <laughs> Office says, might as well send her my checkbook, 55. <laughs> Nance wants to see the new patch. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a surprise, but it's going to be big, just like these. I'll see what I have another one up. Mary Pelletier says, sell me the wolf for $10 and the lot is yours. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. You can do it. <laughs> There's nine now, so. And you can sell one right off the bat to Mary. <laughs> for 10 there you go. You can get 10 bucks back for that. I know you got that 60 in you. If you do 60 authors, I'll put in a smaller patch too. So there'll be 10 total. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. 60 from Arthur. <laughs> 62 from Mary. She's not giving up. She's not giving up. <laughs> it's a horse race, folks. Come on, Arthur. We're waiting on you. You know I'll take care of you with this lot. <laughs> Just say yes, Arthur. Oh, she's dating him. That's what she's doing. She's going to keep out in him until he says, okay, <laughs> I'll sell you the wool. <laughs> of course, the price might have just went up, Mary, since you bit him up. <laughs> he might need 12 now. <laughs> 65, Arthur. 10 patches. She wanted the wolf. You can.
can do it. But just because she wants it for 10 doesn't mean that's what you have to sell it to her for. <laughs> that's true. All right, 65 for Martha. <laughs> He's not answering her. Oh, married 67. There we go. 67. Still well worth it. Still way well worth it for these 10 patches. Dolly says, I want the wolf, and I'll give five dozen cookies for it. <laughs> what would you do for a hundred? Dennis wants to for, know. For Benji? De ben Dennis wants to know what you'll do for Benjamin, Lisa. Uh, let me go see. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. You're right, Donna. Oh, no. <laughs> I just thought I would ask. All right, Dennis, you started it. <laughs> hey, Miss Martha, how are you, honey? Arthur, quick, transfer some money. <laughs> Okay, my earring just came out too. I just oh, lost my you're pretty. Wait a minute. Just lost it in transit. Hey, big guy, fifteen forty-four. How are you? Okay, so we started off with those eight, right? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so we had those eight, and then I said I'd throw in another large one, so that makes it nine, and then I said I'd throw in another smaller size one, well that's actually not small, so this makes ten, look at the price tag was thirty dollars, okay that's, that's the ten pieces, hey Diane, now, welcome. Um, if he wanted to do a hundred, I would give him, I would add in this choppers one, uh, another flag, two more lady riders. Silver Eagle, which is also a $30. Where are we at, Dolly? We were currently at $67. And this one, too. So it would be if somebody did it, Benjamin. Lisa, honey, you got you to talk this way. We can't hear you when you talk away. I'm sorry. Oh, if somebody did a bunch of they get those extra. Donna, I mean, uh, Lisa. What? I can't hear you when you talk. Oh, you can't hear me when I talk. Lisa, can you I can't hear you when you talk in the other direction. Oh, okay. So they'll be at one, two, three, four, five, six extra patches if they do 100. Okay. And um, 
somebody's asking if they're iron on. No, right? They're stitched. They have to be stitched, right? Um, they do have a shiny coating on the back, so it's possible they can be iron on, but it's always best to stitch on your patches. Um, yeah, I know, Donna. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Donna says I'm yelling at the wrong person. <laughs> That's because I'm always yelling at Donna. <laughs> so I don't know where uh, Dennis do heard our answer or not. Yeah, the best thing is to stitch them on. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. All right, so how many in total now? You had eight, nine, ten, plus another. What are we at? Like 17? I was at 10 for the current bid of whatever we're at. We're at 67. Okay. And then Dennis Dew said, what would I do for 100? Okay. And that would be, if I got 100, I would throw in three, four, one, two, three, four, I would throw in six more. All right. So 16 patches for a Benjamin. If we get to a hundred. All right. So right now we're going to stick with our original 10 patches at $67. Ooh. Arthur goes a hundred. Benjamin. Benjamin. Thank you, Walker. All right. Anyone else? We got Arthur at a hundred. If we get to one twenty, I'll throw in two more. You must really want them. I'm out. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll go once for a hundred to Arthur. It's a nice lot, guys. Beautiful patches. Beautiful. Beautiful. He knows he's going to make his money on these. Oh, for sure. A hundred percent. Absolutely. And they'll sell fast. No cookies, Dolly. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I wish Donatella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we want a, we want a piece of the action if she is. <laughs> Going twice now to Arthur for one, Benjamin. He knows money when he sees it. <laughs> no, Mary. 16, no, Mary. 16. 16. Six 14. No, 16. <laughs> <laughs> but if you go 120, I will add two more patches. So if you go 120, you get 18. Like I showed you, the smallest ones go for 30. Mary's saying answer, please. She must really be lagging. She must be lagging. We'll give right, her we'll time. Give, yep, we'll give her a minute. It's funny that the chat, though, is, is on time, but the rest isn't. So crazy. All right, Mary, we're just waiting on you. All right, Mary's going to go 110. If, if she or Arthur or whoever else wants to go 120, 
Then you get 18 pieces. Yep, yeah, I'll throw in two more big ins for 120. Making it worth your while. Arthur, you still here? <laughs> <laughs> Don't let this slip by. You know it's money. There he goes. All right, there is the 120 to Arthur for two more patches. All right, there'll be two more patches. Two more patches. I'm not sure it's a hundred percent us though lagging that much. I really don't think it's us. I'm I'm looking at YouTube and I'm looking at StreamYard and it's not really a big lag. I just counted about six seconds and I did it um, from the time we could move her glasses on StreamYard till the time I, 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 that I saw it on YouTube, rather, to StreamYard. It's only six seconds. All right, we're going to call it, I think. Going once? Yep, we're going to go once now to author at 120. He could sell three or four patches and he'll get his money back. So he's got nothing to worry about. And he'll have to make a side deal with Mary for that wool. <laughs> <laughs> and Mary's not a reseller. <laughs> Going twice now to author at 120. Uh, Nance P, send me an email. Can you put my email up anyway? Somebody. Yes, there you go. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Donna. Nance, there's my uh, email. Send me an email tonight. All right. Last and final call for one hundred and twenty dollars to Arthur Leslie for not eight, not. 10 not 16 but 18 patches going once going twice and ladies and gentlemen we are now sold to author for 120 dollars congratulations author thank you so much author all right so this is the last time around now, guys. This calls for anyway. It's almost past his bedtime. <laughs> My last lot, I am going to do a table cover. I'm going to start it at twenty dollars. This is from a trade show. No, I did not steal it. It's big. And it's from Bacardi. Oh, Bacardi. Yummy, yummy. So very nice. <laughs> it's, um, Oh, where is the tape measure? Come on. Wow, Mary Pelletier said she just heard $110. That's how slow she was. Yeah, guys, when that happens, honestly, you got to go to the bottom of your screen and take that red bar and try to pull it all the way over. Or worse, go up to the left-hand corner and hit the arrow circle see if that will refresh you or just go out and come back in so this is five feet wide and of course it drapes over so if there's no interest we can pass it <laughs> pat dees wants to know how many do we get if we pay a hundred <laughs> oh.
All right. Any interest in the Bacardi ghost? <laughs> ghost not included. <laughs> Very nice. I don't think it was ever used. All right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a pass. pass. Good night, everybody. See you Wednesday. You, you, you don't want to hang on? You want to go to bed and get yelled at now? Yeah, I'm going to take, right. take my licking and keep on ticking. Okay. Good um, night, Paul. Good night, Paul. Good night. <laughs> All so, right, Donna, what do we got? Okay, I got, um, you know how you have jewelry jars and, and buckets and watch buckets and whatever? I've got a stamp jar. A stamp <laughs> jar. All right. So these are all posted stamps. Let's see. Um, some are uh, the ones that, that have the... Um, Marks through them are worth more than the ones without. And there are duplicates in this thing, I noticed. There's... Um, How much did you want to start oh, with? This? I'm starting this off at 15. All right. Um, there's uh, Olympics in here. This is a uh, Olympic year. They're having the Tokyo Games in the summer. And there's small stamps, and there's larger stamps in there. There's Christmas, and I'm trying to think what else there was in there. Um, John F. Kennedy is in there. You you get, I would say, maybe about 500 stamps. All right. Penny Day starts us off at $15. Thank you, Penny. There's also, I don't know if you can see that there. Um, Tampa Bay Dan is asking, do you have an estimate on any of the years that might be in there? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I picked this thing up at a um, a marketplace vendors, something like what Lisa does. Okay, like an antique mall or something. Yeah, yeah. So I really haven't really gone through it in or anything. I was gonna um, list the. I have uh, stamp bulletin posters, and I was gonna put the stamps with the posters, but I'm almost almost. I am almost out of the posters, so it makes no sense to even to keep these. <laughs> All right. Um, Kim, thank you so much. Have a great night. Go get your laundry and your dinner done. And we'll see you. Uh, we're on tomorrow night back here on this channel, guys, uh, with Donatella. All right, Penny Day's at 15 for the stamps. Anyone want to go 17? Is it you think that's what it is, Mary? Or you, you think it was just... Um, Thank you, Mary. Thank you, honey. All right, we're going to go once to Penny at 15. Oh, and we probably should disclose, I'm assuming the jar is not included. Um. Yeah, I think it is. It's a plastic jar. All right.
so it's it's already weighted and it's you know everything is is you know, like first class okay Going twice now to Penny Day at 15. Getting a bargain. <laughs> yeah, to steal. Guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. <laughs> Donna looks like it's, she has a jar on her head. <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> Last and final call to Penny Day for $15 for all these stamps. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Penny for $15. Congratulations, Penny. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> All right. Let's see if Lisa has any more patches. <laughs> yeah, it is a big lag because Pat D's just put in $17 bid T. Oh, really? Autumn Grace? I don't know. Was it before you called it or after? Something happened here. Scroll up. Autumn Grace was at 17 before you called it. You said, where, is it where is even my soul typed it? Well, yeah, I yeah see it's it between. I see it. It's there. It's between going twice. It's under Tampa Bay Dams. Pat pushed it up. That's so weird. I never even saw it. I'm so sorry. All right, let's um put her back up. I'm gonna put you back up, Donna. Oh, okay. All right, Penny. I'm sorry. I missed. I missed. Um, that's. I. I apologize. I missed um, Autumn's uh, bid at 17 so we were at $17 now to Miss Martha, Autumn Grace. I apologize. I don't know how I missed it. See, that's how tired I am. I'm, I'm really sorry. All right, so we have $17 now. Penny, do you want to come back in? There, there are some used and some, some are that are not used. So, Miss Martha, you tell me. You make the decision, sweetheart. I'll leave it up to you. If, if you, if you do still want to bid the seventeen and you want to type it in the chat, all right, it's okay. Okay. All right, she's going to be a good sport about it. Okay, thank you, Martha. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, we are sold to Penny. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Martha. Thank you for being so understanding. You're a sweetheart. Thank you. All right. Sold to Penny. All right, Lisa. Okay, this isn't really an auction. This is just because I saw several people were interested in the wolf patch. Um, I do have a couple okay. of them available. They're brand new. If anybody wants, you can see, even see the stitching on the back to see the quality. Um, no, they're not cheap, but they're really nice quality patches. I could do $20 ship if anybody's interested. I do have a few of these. Uh, buy it now. So it's a buy it now, $20 shipped. If you want to just type 20 in the chat and it's yours. If anybody, I have a few of these. If you're interested, please type 20 so I know you want one. I don't want to miss anybody. All right, Mary Pelletier and Autumn Grace. Okay.
Anybody did Dolly want one too? Um, she didn't. She, only, she didn't type twenty in the chat. Okay, one for Dolly. Anyone else? We could do like a going once thing too, just so in case of the lag, so people know. But did you type it in? I didn't. I didn't. That way, so people can't right, hear. They can see what I'm doing. How many do you have? Dennis wants one also. Are we good? I, I have en I have enough. So if you just want to put in there, uh, wolf large wolf wolf patch twenty dollars. Buy it now, so people know that are just watching and not listening. Um, Autumn Grace, send me an email. I don't think I, I think I lost your, uh, your information. Uh, Donna, can you put in my email? Thank you. Well, she's right on, right on top of it. Anybody else interested in this for $20 buy it now? I got, I got Dennis Du, Mary Peltier, Dolls Dolly, and Autumn Grace. If there's anybody else that wants one of these for $20 shipped, Right in 20. Yeah, because I don't even know if I have what I'm description now that I look. I do. I'm sorry. Never mind. It's my stupid email search sometimes. Okay, start calling it. I just wanted to give, give people All enough right. time to read it in the chat. All right, last call for $20. Buy it now on the, on the wolf patch. We have four sold. Anyone else before we close it out? Anyone else for a wolf patch for $20 before we close it out? We got four sold. Anyone, anyone else? I feel like now we really are running a QVC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, Mary. I'm glad everybody's happy now. <laughs> That's I wanted, you know, I, I didn't want everybody to think that they, uh, there was a few people that liked it. I didn't want them to feel like they had to bid on the whole pile just to get that one patch, you know? <laughs> All right. Last, last call for a wolf patch at $20. Buy it now. All right, closing it out. Okay. I will invoice everybody tonight. All right, I'm going to bring us all back in so we can say okay. good night. Okay. Because I'm going to say good night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whose, fault, whose fault is that? I told you, but don't make us suffer because of your misdoings. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Partying all night with Donna, and then you come here. I'm so tired. Why? I wonder did, why. Did you sleep at all today? I went to sleep at about, I guess, 5.30 this morning, and my husband came in at 6.30, and I forgot to unlock the screen door, so he had to call me to come downstairs and unlock it, so that was a broken hour of sleep. And then my brother, whose truck we have, and we brought it to the shop, called me at 7.30 to tell me to tell the mechanic something. Oh, you're always up early, and I usually am. <laughs> so finally, by like 9.30, 10 o'clock, I was up, and that was it. I had things to do. <laughs> it's all right. I'm going to get a good night's sleep tonight. This is early now for me. I'm going to get a full five or six hours at least. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate everybody. I, wanna, I just I just want to thank everybody for coming tonight, and I want to thank uh, Patricia, Arthur, Dennis, um, Mary, Dolly, and Autumn for your bids and purchases. Thank you very very much. I really appreciate it. Yes, and I would like to thank Dennis Du, Penny Day, and uh, Leanne for uh, bidding as well. All right, great. And thanks for coming on, Donna. Yeah, you're and welcome. Ladies, Anytime. We'll, we'll see you guys again. So you guys know we're back on um, tomorrow night on this channel at 8.30 for Donna Keller. Uh, Wednesday, we, oh, we didn't tell everybody. Well, I didn't have Paul drop his link. Um, I don't know if you guys will subscribe to Paul, but we are going to be doing Paul's auction Wednesday on Paul's channel. Um, when I put the notification out, I'll make sure that um, I put it out there as well. Um, and then Thursday, we're back here for Round Robin with Pat Dees. And Saturday this week, we have a Round Robin with Chris the Goose. So... We will see you guys tomorrow night. Thanks as always, and have a great night. Bye, everybody. Bye.